so we are sitting where the wheelchair lift used to be. Hey there. Oh, hi. Um, so we got the wheelchair lift out, and how we ended up doing it was we called around to a lot of places, literally every place we could think of to try to donate it, because, I don't know, we just thought it, it would... seemed like the right thing to do. Right. Um, nowhere would take it, because it was old, it was a liability, they don't accept lifts that big. Just a million different reasons. So we decided um, to go ahead and scrap it. To scrap it. And <laughs> instead of taking it out whole, we thought, hey, I wonder if we can just dismantle this thing and take it apart piece by piece. That way it's easier to handle. Yeah, because that was the scary part that put us off from it a lot was just that it's so big and then reading some stories online of people saying like, oh, this is really dangerous. Right. But we have some footage of what we did, most of what we did. There's some that we don't have. Um, but literally, we extended it down to the ground pretty much because of the hydraulic fluid. We wanted to make sure that if we were going to cut things and try to rip things out, it wasn't going to squirt all over us, which kind of worked. I mean, there was still some that squirted yeah, out. Yeah. But, um, and then we just it was mostly bolts and pins so yeah. it was just getting different tools and trying to take it apart and it worked pretty well yeah i mean i mean it was definitely i would say the one thing to make sure if you're gonna do it like we did it is to make sure you have plenty of room because i'm gonna show you <laughs> ah. so this is where the wheelchair lift is and it's parked in our driveway but it's also right here is the wall of our house. And it got to a point to where you have to slide out the, what do you call that? The platform. The, the platform from the arms. And it's literally just one long pole. So there wasn't enough room and it was very frustrating. Yeah. So we ended up having to just pull our bus forward a little bit. Um, which was kind of difficult because one of the batteries was undone. So that would be my, my biggest thing is just make sure you have plenty of room if you're going to do it this way. Yeah. Um, yeah, we didn't take it apart in too many pieces either. It was mainly the platform, uh, a couple pieces off the platform that were pretty heavy by yeah. themselves. And then the, the two main arms that, that were bolted down, it all stayed together. It was still pretty heavy, but we were able to just push it out of the bus uh, we, at the scrapyard. Yeah. We found out that it weighs like exactly 400 yeah. pounds. <laughs> so just to let you know, it is very heavy and it's easier to do it in chunks yeah. if you're not going to donate it or whatever. Sell it to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So here's some footage of us doing that.
so this is going through here holding the bottom part of this these arms in what's kind of holding it in place there's a pin here that goes through the center of the cylinder and out the bottom that thing right there yeah that's the top of it so it's just this round and so it was bent over underneath so having it up a little bit helped to break it off and then now i'm trying to pull it through so then we can lower it Let's see what the other option is to cut the threads. How would you do that? That dremel wheel. Did it work? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I didn't see it. Come off. So on the ones that we can get the bolts out from underneath, we can just pull them out from the top. Dunzo. It's resting on that now. <laughs> I don't those. So we just have to take out these things. And then we think that's all, hopefully. I mean, I'll have to get the cables up to Oh, uh, yeah. We also have to drain the hydraulic fluid and get the cables out, but I think that's everything. Mm -hmm. Break time. camera's real dirty. Huh. So the camera lens is really dirty. All right, so now we're going to shimmy this back and work on taking up the floor under and trying to drain and take out as many of these wires as possible. And then taking it to the scrapyard. Woo.